Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So today is a bright sunny day in late winter on February the twenty sixth, twenty twenty four. But it's freezing cold here. I'm going into Liberty Cafe somewhere on Main Street and Twentieth Avenue.、Um, it's very bright and cozy in here. So I ordered a cup of latte, a Totoro cookie, and enjoying the views outside the big windows. A lot of、uh, customers. So first of all, I'm sketching. Uh, my cup of latte, a breakfast sandwich, and that adorable Totoro cookie. Just finishing the contour outline of the Totoro cookie, and drawing、uh, the round dish, holding the two items and light line for the brim, drawing the latte art, which is、um, upside down with a little bit of swirl. Now suggesting the two pieces of the sandwich bun and the egg in the middle. The wrinkles on the sandwich bun, and then starting to draw these、um, lines of the grill mark. Yeah, so these grill marks are、uh, very nice details to add on to the plain sandwich bun. Now drawing these two circles, the googly eyes of Totoro, the big belly, the whiskers. So Totoro is a very famous Japanese animation character designed by Studio Ghibli. So I just added a bit of、um, accentuation with my pen under those googly eyes,、um, so they seem like they're really popping out from the surface of the cookie. Now it's time to have fun painting watercolors in before my coffee and breakfast sandwich、uh, get cold. Starting with a diluted yellow ochre for. Everything, including the coffee, all of the sandwich, yellow ochre mixed with a bit of orange, for the Totoro cookie. I think it's a gingerbread cookie, and a bit of、uh, orange brown, wet onto wet on the bun of the sandwich. Same for the latte, a bit of orange brown to diffuse with the yellow ochre. Now the cup is gray. So I like to mix my own gray with cobalt blue, a bit of royal purple, starting with the diluted version, using some leftover yellow green for the little ceramic dish, using a diluted tone as well. Both of the cup and the dish has a very mild color of light gray and light、uh, organic yellow green. Now adding some more brown for the latte. And、um, darker sepia, so I mix my own sepia by mixing cobalt blue into burnt sienna for the bun, the top and bottom bun of the sandwich.、Uh, lemon yellow for the egg in the middle, leftover sepia for the thickness area of the Totoro cookie, the little shadow from the white icing belly, leftover black for the whiskers and those marks on the belly. And leftover brown and sepia, a concentrated version containing very little bit of water for the grill marks. Diluted leftover gray for the white icing belly. It's not perfect paper white. Now it's time to paint the shadows, which are very strong. The sun is hitting very much directly onto me, and these things. The shadows have very crisp, sharp edges. Again, for the shadows, I use my own special recipe of mixing cobalt blue, a bit of purple, and green together for a lively gray.、Um, same for the next layer of the ceramic cup. It's actually a bluish gray to me, and leaving a streak of that first layer there unpainted for the shine of the surface. The brim is kind of、uh, muted green. Now it's time to paint the shadow for the dish. It's kind of a purplish gray. Just having fun、uh, with these shadow colors. They don't have to be water mixed with black. They could always dance and glow with the kind of energy of a bluish gray or purplish gray. Yeah, just、um, have another layer of shadows for everything. Final polish, and that's it. Now it's time to enjoy my cookie sandwich and cup of latte. And then moved to a different table because the the other table I was sitting at、um, the the sun is hitting directly onto it.、Um, it's not ideal for filming, and it got too hot. So when we're outside, we always get a three hundred sixty degree view 
of the scenery around us. So it's very important to be selective. So I want to focus on just this、uh, 40 degree, and I want to keep it simple by just capturing two customers. So as you can see, I started drawing a lady just about five steps away from me, sitting at a little table. So I started drawing her portrait by doing the shape of her hair and then the face, the very simple facial features, her neck, and her shoulders.、Uh, one side of her hair is draping down her shoulder. She's wearing a really lovely green sweater and she's looking down,、uh, typing on her phone and working on her laptop computer. So she has dark brown hair. So as you can see, I'm using my bamboo sailor's fillet fountain pen with a 55 degree bent nib to quickly coloring in her hair area, leaving some tiny little streaks of white for the highlights on her hair, and then switching back to my、uh, old sailor's fillet fountain pen for the sweater texture, the beautiful curves of the、uh, the knitted lines. And suggesting her pupils, looking down at her computer, and she's using an Apple laptop computer. Okay, after that, I'm drawing these dried、uh, leaves and flowers hanging on the on the wall between the sitting area and the、um, an ordering area. So this is very much a large rectangular prism with white brick pattern on it. So it's just getting. This slight bit of perspective in,、uh, and so fun to draw brick patterns. So I always start with the、uh, horizontal lines, and then these quick segments of vertical lines to get the pattern in. Very satisfying. Now I want to continue to suggest a sense of depth by drawing a couple of customers ordering around the counter area. Drawing this lady hanging around the counter area, partial view of the barista guy making a cup of latte, and the corner of the、uh, black espresso machine. Okay, so now I'm proceeding to draw another lady here.、Uh, she's in her winter jacket, waiting for her order. Quickly getting her done spontaneously. I think she moved away in a few seconds, and the display shelf of the pastries, a little jar of cookies or something. Okay, so my next move is to、uh, define the depths of the backstage of this、uh, cafe. This is a mirror,、uh, reflecting a little bit of the surroundings.、Um, the three lines defining the ceiling and two walls. This is、um, kind of like an entrance to the backstage of the、um, cafe, like a kitchen area. Some lights and more door frames. There are actually so many frames that I could see. A wooden shelf, adding some、uh, pastries inside the glass display shelves. Some more buns and sandwiches there. Okay, and just keep it really, really simple. And then、uh, the terracotta tiles. Adding further sense of depth here on the ground level. The shoes for that lady there, right behind my mug of latte. Okay, just define her smile a little bit more. Okay, so the、uh, backstage is all、um, well defined. It doesn't need to be way too detailed. Now I want to spend more time and effort defining the central focus of my sketch. I just drew a lamp illuminating the paintings. Of portraits, the classical style、uh, portrait paintings with dark backgrounds, in very nice,、uh, fancy wooden frames. Now I'm ready to、uh, draw the guy munching on his sandwich, starting with the shape of his hair,、uh, keeping the facial features really simply defined,、uh, eyeglasses, eyebrows, eyes looking down, neck, shoulder, and his、uh, hand. Holding a bit of his sandwich, he was eating really fast. His collar, other shoulder, extending to、uh, the sleeve of his shirt, bottom of the shirt connecting with the pant.、Uh, a bit of hair texture. Now switching back to my bamboo sailor's fin to quickly shade in his dark hair. Again, leaving some spots for highlights of hair strands. His he's looking content, enjoying a good time here.
and then drawing the plaid uh, pattern of his shirt or the checkerboard pattern, uh, crisscross lines, intersecting lines, and but his sleeve area, all human uh, arms are in long cylinder shapes. So those lines of the plaid pattern on his sleeve is kind of wrapping around the round cylindrical surface of the arm. Okay, now moving on to drawing a larger portrait painting behind the guy. But before that, I just want to write down today's day and date. Yeah, so it's Monday, February the 26th. Only a couple days left of February and we're moving into March. And a lot of people passing by outside as well as a lot of uh, fellow customers enjoying the sunny day inside with me. Munching on my cookie and keep looking, seeing and recording what I see. Uh, this is a portrait of a lady with lots of curls, big eyes. Yeah, so I really like these portraits uh, looking at the viewer. And then th these actual people are engaged with their uh, digital tablets. So yeah, a little bit of satire in here. And just using my uh, bamboo Fuji Phantom Pen to color in the dark background for the lady's portrait painting. Uh, using loose segments of vertical lines to define the wooden wall and the bench that the guy is sitting on. Yeah, more loose vertical lines. They have a very nice wall. And the wall texture is echoing with the lady's sweater texture. So here's the look of my finished line work. And now I'm moving on to painting watercolors. The first thing that I usually do to start with a cafe a watercolor painting is to illuminate the interior with the uh, indoor lighting condition. Usually it has a nice uh, mellow yellow, yellow orange glow. So this is a super diluted mix of lemon yellow and a bit of yellow ochre. Yeah. And a white wall is uh, very reflective of its surroundings. Um, so the, the, the lamp's actually pretty close to the wall, so the wall's catching a lot of those nice uh, yellow, yellow orange glow. Okay, and adding a bit of yellow orange around the light bulb there. Painting the skin color for, the, for these people. Skin color, uh, quickly mix that with uh, orange and red, diluted with a little bit of water, so it's not way too intense. A bit more red for the cheeks, so the faces look more uh, lively. Yeah, same for the guy. More red for the cheeks and the lips, that those areas. All right, so that's the faces, uh, the second lightest color that I see, and then the hair, uh, the brown hair for the ladies in the distance. And then for this uh, main character here, her, uh, her sweater is kind of like a peacock green. So first layer is lime green, diluted version. Second layer, lime green mixed with a bit of viridian green to shade just partially around her sleeve, the shadow of her sleeve onto the chest area. And that's it, to keep it really simple. And for the guy, I remember his shirt is actually gray. So I like to make, mix my own gray with cobalt blue and purple. He was wearing jeans. So cobalt blue, that kind of tone. And his shirt um, has blue stripes, so leftover cobalt blue over the light gray. Okay, and that's pretty much it, all the dominant colors that I see in this scenery. Uh, okay, now the, the picture frames are actually pretty vibrant as well. Golden wood. Um, and then the faces for those portraits echoing with those real people's skin colors. Um, and then uh, grays for the laptop, just using the leftover bluish grays. Um, I forgot to paint these dried flowers and leaves. And also shade one of the wall there, that, that brick wall, the left side. So the right side is facing the big windows, getting a lot of sunshine. Shadows on the wall from the people. Shadows for the, for the uh, backstage, the kitchen area. Again, these grays, I mix my own by mixing cobalt blue and royal purple and a tiny bit of green together. So it just looks much more lively than mixing black with water. And then uh, light, light brown for the tiles and then dark sepia for the shadows on those tiles. 
So when you're painting anything, so don't be afraid to paint the shadows. And shadows, they're not、um, usually way too dark. They could be a very mild bluish or purplish gray glazing over something light. Final polish here and there, and that's it. Here's the look of my finished sketch. As usual, it took me about one hour and a half to draw and paint. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. I update my channel with two to three new videos every week. And I'll see you again very soon next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.